Thank you, Kim. Hi, everybody. It is truly an honor to be here today. I, first of all, I'd like to recognize Great Place to Work, all organizers and sponsors and participants in this conference for your hard work and commitment to making a real difference in the corporate world. Being known as a Great Place to Work is a remarkable achievement for any company. And each of our workplaces is so unique because it is we individually and collectively who make the contributions that shape our corporate cultures. I've had the privilege of working in some amazing organizations and I feel proud to see how my contributions have shaped values and culture along the way. I'm here today to give you a glimpse into the PayPal culture journey, and I'll also share my personal building blocks for how to create great places to work. Building block number one, reinvent often. Our businesses and our world are in constant evolution. If we aspire to be great, we need to embrace this change and be willing to reinvent ourselves. It is never too late to try something new. I, for instance, took up horseback riding when I turned 40 as a weekend activity with my family. A couple weeks ago, my horse, Nevado, and I competed for the first time in three-day eventing. <laughs> you try taking a 1,000-pound feisty horse with a mind of his own into the great outdoors to jump logs and ditches on a cross-country course, 13 obstacles, over a third of a mile. I did not think we could do this at first. But then I followed my husband's advice. As usual, the best advice comes from those who love us. He said to me, you can do this. Just focus on one thing at all times. Land your next jump. It worked. He made the challenge achievable. We did it, and we had so much fun. We even brought home a fourth place ribbon. <laughs> being bold is not being reckless. Being bold means pushing yourself to step outside of your comfort zone and take calculated risks and focus on a series of steps that you know you can achieve. If we aspire to transform what is around us, we must first be willing to transform ourselves. Building block number two. Diversity of thought. Last month, I was honored by the National Diversity Council as a top multicultural leader in tech. Of all the awards I've received, this one felt very, very special because I'm a, such a believer in diversity. I have a commitment to diversity. For those of you wondering about my accent, I was born in Bolivia, I grew up in England, and I moved to Venezuela at age seven. I met my husband in college, and he comes from a German-Jewish family. So if I wasn't multicultural enough, <laughs> that surely put me over the threshold. <laughs> we came to Indiana for graduate school, and uh, then we moved to France for a year for him to finish a postdoc degree. And then we moved back to South America. 
When the time came to raise a family, we settled down in Miami, Florida, where we've been based for the last 25 years. My rich cultural heritage has enabled me to contribute in a much better way in global organizations where I can bring my cultural lens and um, contribute to the richness of doing things together, the empathy, the understanding. My professional background is also an example of diversity and reinvention. I started my career as a computer engineer and became a management consultant. No one who knew me in my 20s and 30s would have ever imagined I would work in human resources. <laughs> and I have loved it because it allows me to bring my fact-based, analytical problem-solving skills and combine that with vision and creativity and the magic to create employee experiences that are memorable and cultures that inspire. As I look back and I reflect on my professional journey, what has added most value and brought me most satisfaction? It is vision, creativity, the challenge, a willingness to reinvent, but most of all, it is building great teams. My passion, my superpower, is building diverse teams. I invite each of you to seek and nurture diversity of thought. When we all do this, amazing things will happen. Building block number three. What brings so many different people together? Purpose. Shared purpose brings meaning to what we do and inspires us to achieve more. I'd like to share the PayPal journey with you. Almost two years ago, PayPal split from eBay and became an independent company. Our CEO, Dan Schulman, is bold, and he believes in diversity of thought. He hired me from oil and gas. He hired our amazing CFO from an airline. Pretty unconventional choices for a Silicon Valley tech company. But he was deliberate. Dan wanted different perspectives on his leadership team. When he invited me to join, he said, this will be an amazing journey. We will keep what we like. We will leave behind what we don't like. And together, we will build a new PayPal. It was a transformational moment, a time to declare our mission, vision, and values. Dan has an inspiring mission, a dream, to democratize the management and movement of money to use technology for good, to transform the lives of millions of people around the world that are underserved by financial institutions. We got together as a management team to write down our mission and vision. We didn't say the usual things like be a leader in our space or create shareholder value we knew that was implied, and we stated our purpose. I'd like to share that mission and vision with you now. You are probably not going to be able to read the words on the slide, unless you're sitting really close, but I invite you to hear it. Close your eyes, actually, and listen to it. It will be read out loud in the voices of our diverse employees. We believe that now is the time to reimagine money. To democratize financial services. 
so that managing and moving money is a right for all citizens, not just the affluent. We believe every person has the right to participate fully in the global economy. We have an obligation to empower people to exercise this right and improve financial health. As a leader in financial technology, we believe in providing simple, affordable, secure, and reliable financial services and digital payments that enable the hopes, dreams, and ambitions of millions of people around the world. It is our duty and privilege to be customer champions. We have a fundamental commitment to put our customers at the center of everything we do. We must be bold and innovative and execute flawlessly against our immediate goals with our eyes always on the future. We are one team. Valuing inclusion and collaboration. Demonstrating integrity, trust, respect, and empathy. We take care of ourselves, each other, and our community. We believe now is the time to reimagine money. This is purpose that inspires us. We also declared our four values collaboration, innovation, wellness, and inclusion. We put them into the water supply by empowering activists, culture champions. These are the original disruptors, 56 change agents who ignited a change movement and are scaling it until we become 18,000 culture champions. The secret to scaling the movement so quickly is how we rolled out our new values. As a first step, we described each one of them in a few sentences. For instance, in collaboration, we said, eradicate silos. Innovation is creating amazing experiences for our customers and our PayPal community. Inclusion says respect and value, uniqueness and diversity of thought. For wellness, we said create a super energizing workplace and nourish our mental, physical, and emotional balance. We published these principles everywhere we could and made them available to everyone inside the company. We intentionally described the values well enough to be understood, but not so much that it didn't allow for personalization. And this was very important because every team and location is different. Collaboration is a straightforward concept in Salt Lake City, not so in Berlin. Wellness in California means something different than what it means in Japan. Innovation is second nature for our product organization, but how about our tax department? We wanted everybody to identify with these four values. So we encouraged and empower everybody to own their last mile personalize these values to their team and their location, and adopt these values as their own. And it was a wonderfully creative process. It empowered everybody to speak up. With values as the backdrop, difficult conversations became easier, and the culture champions, a growing movement, have been present all the way with toolkits, facilitating workshops, getting on the stage, coaching, and being agents for change. Our people team also focused on bringing, building a strong foundation for our new values to really take hold. We updated our benefits programs globally to make sure we were living up to our value of wellness. We introduced generous paid time leave programs in the US. We introduced Bravo, a spontaneous recognition tool that is built thematically around our values. 
we started promoting and rewarding people that are role models of our values. We redesigned our employee engagement survey, introducing specific custom-built metrics to quantitatively assess how we are living up to each of our values. In each case, we designed new products, we brought in a lot of voice of the customer, and aimed to create a memorable employee experience. On an even broader scale, we took actions to improve our company-wide diversity and ensure that we have pay parity at all levels. Although we have a long way to go, I am thrilled that we are one of the leading companies in the Valley for diversity. And we are committed to achieving full inclusion in every respect. I could go on and on about our culture journey, but it would take a while. I will say this. You can visit any of PayPal's 56 offices in 32 countries, and you will see PayPal's mission, vision, and culture live and in action. It is remarkable how, in just two years, our new values have completely taken root, and they've become such a fundamental part of PayPal's core identity and culture. This is purpose that inspires. To wrap up on building block number three, I'd like to share a short video with you. It will give you a real flavor for PayPal's culture and how our culture champions continue to build the movement and inspire an entire organization. PayPal enables consumers and merchants to achieve their goals. We solve their problems. We anticipate their needs. How does PayPal do it? This is the power of 18,000 culture champions. 18,000 people with a laser-like focus on one vision. 18,000 innovators. 18,000 collaborators. 18,000 people who work inclusively and with joy. Every type of person that enters PayPal, no matter what department, including you in the culture. How can we enhance it and make it even better? And that just makes us an even better company. Together, PayPal employees are living a culture that is changing the marketplace. We create amazing experiences. I like creating. I like building. Here I have the opportunity to do that. What I really like is when something goes live and you see an impact, like, you know what? I did something that's meaningful. We work as a team. Everybody's putting an input and everybody works so well together. No matter what department they're in, they can all come to the table and make the magic that, you know, makes us successful. We respect and value uniqueness. Everyone has their own talents and gifts and, and like bringing that all together is what makes us the company that we are. We care and actively support each other's well-being. You work hard, you strive for impact, you give 110% when you need to, but there is still mind space and energy that you have to devote to yourself and to your family. We innovate, we collaborate, we are inclusive, we take care of each other, and we enjoy being change makers. We have such a defined set of values now. We have a defined mission, a defined culture, and it's, it's really something to, to get behind. I think that it's really buying in and everyone working together. 18,000 culture champions. One, PayPal. That was the PayPal journey. How about your journey? How can you make yours a great place to work? We live in exciting times. Every industry is being disrupted by technology. Changes are happening very quickly. This is our time, our opportunity. Some leaders in this room may transform entire industries. Many of you will lead the companies of the future. Most of us 
manage teams. Regardless of our roles, each one of us can affect change. Each one of us has the power to make a difference. I invite you to take the lead and make your own great place to work. To do that, reinvent often. Seek and nurture diversity of thought. Inspire with purpose. Start now. And make yours a great place to work, and let's make ours a great place to live. Thank you. PayPal is on a journey to fulfill its mission and vision, and we're only getting started. I'll be leaving PayPal at the end of June, feeling very proud to have contributed to this chapter, and delighted to pass the baton to two wonderful leaders promoted from the inside. And to hear more about the next chapter in PayPal's story, and how we connect our internal passions with our external work, I'd like to invite to the stage my esteemed colleague, Franz Pasch, Head of Corporate Affairs. Thank you so much, Marcia. And thank you for uh, all that you uh, contributed and for being such a catalyst for culture. Uh, and values at PayPal. So I'm, I'm not an HR officer, um, although I think I'm a people person. I lead PayPal's co global corporate affairs function. Um, and at PayPal, that includes government relations, it includes public policy and communications and social innovation. But I view the people team, and Martha and I, uh, Marcia and I have put this into place, as my most important partner. Because as Marcia said, at PayPal, we're looking holistically at what we stand for internally and what we stand for externally, and how the internal and the external reinforce each other and nurture each other. Uh, because at the heart of our mission is a commitment to democratize financial services, to provide safe, secure, affordable, and easy ways to move and manage money for those who are underserved. And it's a big mission and a big goal um, because in this country, there are millions and millions of people who are underserved by the current financial services system, and in the world, there are billions. Um, as our CEO says, um, in the world of financial services, it's absurd that it's expensive to be poor, um, that for people who have um, the most challenges, it's the most expensive to connect to the financial service and to do things that we take for granted, to write a check, to move and manage money, to save for an emergency, to be able to send money to a loved one. Our mission is inclusive, and it drives us forward. And we're built to do it. It's a beautiful thing. I mean, we are putting our core capabilities towards a compelling social purpose, and what we do in terms of reimagining financial services, moving and managing money, security, risk assessment, being able to manage for transactions, for billions of transactions, for billions of people. Um, it fits completely with how we're thinking about our mission. And from the outset, our approach has been an employee-centric mission. We wanted to engage our employees um, in how we think about social purpose and how we see our social purpose coming from the core of who we are. We do this in the way that we develop and build our products, products that enable economic opportunity and improve financial health, and our employees can see the results of the work that we're doing. Um, a couple of examples. We have a product called PayPal Working Capital that provides small businesses with credit and loans um, in places where and situations where they couldn't get it otherwise. We don't require a FICO score. We use our own data. They're PayPal merchants. 
and we understand their needs and we are willing to invest in them. And what we discovered when we started to look at the metrics was that in the first, in the first billion dollars of PayPal working capital loans that we did, 25% of the loans were going to the 3% of the counties in the United States that have lost the most banks, that have lost 10 or more banks. So they're going into banking deserts. We're able to provide opportunity for these small businesses to grow and to prosper and to create jobs in communities where they, couldn't, uh, where they didn't have that access uh, to capital. We focused on small businesses across the country and we found that when a small business is connected to a digital platform like PayPal, they're able to transact globally and to export in ways that they wouldn't before. In the United States, less than 5% of small businesses overall uh, are engaged in export. A PayPal small business is over 70% likely to be engaging in international commerce, in exporting. We have focused on remittances and how people in this country need to be able to send money to friends and family, relatives uh, all over the world. And the remittances business, um, it's been an expensive prospect involving a lot of time waiting online, involving, um, involving high fees. Um, our company, Zoom, has reduced the cost of, emit of remittances to about half of what, it, of what it has been. And it has enabled billions of dollars to go into developing countries that uh, where more money gets to your loved one or to your family, and it really changes those communities. Through our, through our donation platform, where we connect hundreds of thousands of charities with millions of, of customers, we're able to, what I like to call uh, democratizing philanthropy. We're able to democratize philanthropy so that millions of people can give small amounts um, to big causes uh, and to be part of a movement. You see it in our product Venmo, which uh, enables millennials, probably every, most people here under 30 are on Venmo right now even as we're speaking, um, enable to engage with each other in new ways that includes a whole generation in the financial system in a completely different way. So our employees can see and feel the connection between their creative input and the work they do and the social impact we're having. And that's been an important part of our journey on how we connect the words we speak and the values we represent internally with the mission and how we walk in the world uh, externally. Um, it helps us to think about our customer experience. It helps us to build empathy um, so that our employees understand the customers that we're seeking to serve. We have workshops for our employees to go out into the community and to see what it feels like to not have a bank account or to try and try, and try to cash a check. Um, to understand how you can, how you translate having, being paid in cash and how you can use that to pay bills. It's hard and it builds um, connection between our employees and our mission and our customers who we need to reach. We've also focused our nonprofit work in ways that will engage our employees. Again, as part of this journey of how do you build coherency um, and integrity, between um, the external mission and our internal values and the kind of employer we want to be and the kind of community we want to create. So as we developed as an independent public company, we started to focus our nonprofit work on this mission of improving financial health. And we always look for nonprofits that when we invest in them, they create volunteer opportunities, places for our employees to get involved uh, and to participate um, and ways, again, that we can feel the impact of the mission in our day-to-day -day lives. And that includes mentoring opportunities. It includes um, what we call opportunity hacks or social impact hacks where people come on campus and PayPal employees will, will help social impact entrepreneurs find, um, find that expertise or sometimes just the motivation to take an idea and bring it to reality. We're also focused every day on how we are going to live our values. And, um, and I think Marsha, Marsha showed this um, in many ways, but our CEO often says, you know, our values are not just words on the wall. They have to be the way we act. And as we think and act as an employer, as a customer champion, as a corporate citizen, we know that uh, we have to walk the talk. It's part of how we're going to bring, again, this commitment um, and integrity to our mission. 
And it's not always easy. And we faced some challenges very early on in our life as a, as a new public company. Um, last year, it arose dramatically for us in North Carolina when we were on the verge of opening an operations center where we were going to invest uh, a lot of time, energy, um, and resources into building in Charlotte, North Carolina. And um, it, was a, it was a dramatic test for us of were we going to walk the talk. We had, there was a ceremony on a Friday where we cut the ribbons and um, there, all the politicians assembled and we thought Charlotte was gonna be a new home for us. But three or four days later, the law was rapidly changed in an 11 hour legislative session and um, we, su we suddenly had to face a situation where we felt that we couldn't be the employer we wanted to be, that we were going to be uh, in an environment um, where discrimination was becoming part of the legal system. Um, and we felt we had to take a stand on our values, and we did. And we found that it mattered a huge amount to our employees, that we, we would make a decision that flowed straight from the values that are on the wall when they when we all walk into the office. And while it was, felt consistent and coherent for us, it wasn't, always, uh, it wasn't always easy going forward, as you can imagine. We received a lot of support, but we also received, um, there was a lot of uh, scary opposition as well. But I think it helped to define us, and it said something to us as a community of colleagues um, that we are going to be willing to act on our values. So, we're on a journey. We have many, many more steps to take on this journey, and we're learning a lot as we go, and we're working to embed our values and to live our values and to bring the internal and the external together. And we have a lot ahead of us as a company, um, as a community of colleagues pursuing a mission, um, and um, as a group of individuals who are brought together by a social purpose um, that we're working every day on and working to live our values. So we're gonna keep working on it, and I hope that uh, when uh, I see so many of you uh, next year when you come to the Bay Area, where it won't just be the videos, but you'll, you'll, uh, you'll all be in jeans and t-shirts, and it'll be a completely different. I had to ask, was it necessary to put on a jacket? Because although I come from New York, I spent a lot of time over the last two years enjoying uh, the Silicon Valley um, atmosphere. Um, so I'll encourage all of you when you come to get into it. But anyway, um, so I look forward to seeing you at next, next year's Great Places to Work conference, and thank you for having PayPal here, and um, thank you for uh, the opportunity to be part of this dialogue. It's an important dialogue.